possibly hope to accomplish by going to the Quartermain's party? He just feels as though he might catch the Quartermain's in some unguarded moment. Oh, come on, Scotty. They're gonna be watching each other like hawks, and if one of them does slip up, well, someone else will cover up for him or her. Wait a minute. What if I went along with Lee and Gail to the party? Ah, oh, come on, Heather. Monica's not gonna just, uh, welcome you with open arms, you know? Well, she won't have much choice. I mean, if I go there with your parents, I could, I could snoop around and listen in on conversations and ask a few questions while I'm at it. Heather, I, uh, I appreciate you trying to help, okay? But, uh, no. Scotty, Lee's no good at things like that. Heather, no, it's not gonna work. I wanna help you. No, you're just gonna get yourself in trouble, all right? Now, he, Lee is right. About what? Well, it just stands to reason that if you, if you keep coming around like this, the police are just going to start thinking that we're a pair. So I don't care. Yeah, yeah but it's not going to look good for you, Heather. It's jealous girlfriend kills lover's wife. I mean, I'm sure your roommate can come up with some kind of tintillating headline. Scotty, it doesn't matter. It matters to me. I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you dragged down. Just because Scorpio's out to get me. Oh, Lord, I have already been in here, remember? I know, but you're out on bail now, Heather. I know, Scotty, but they're gonna let you out. They're gonna have to. Yeah, well, uh... In the meantime, I don't think you should come by here like this. No. What are you talking about? You don't want to see me anymore, is that it? Come on. You're ridiculous. Well, then don't do this. I can't stand not to see you. I don't like it either, but I'm just thinking, man. The police are going to put two and two together, and they're going to come up with you and me. Look, I don't care, Scotty. Well, I care, Heather. I don't want to see you back in here. It's not going to happen. Miss Weber? Well, what, what is it? My time isn't up. I'm afraid it is. Come along with me, please. What? Where? Back to jail. Commissioner's ordered it. You're crazy. Hey, wait a minute, wait, man. Get go. your hands off the car. Don't anywhere. Now just come along. Hey, you just leave me alone. Hey, Scotty, hey what is no, this? No, leave me alone. Heather, don't talk to anybody. Heather, get... Guard, I want my lawyer here. Dante, I'm no. sorry to keep you waiting. No, no, that's fine. Hurry, can I see the commissioner? Oh, uh, the commissioner is busy right now. He asked me to apologize to you and wondered if maybe you wouldn't tell me what it is. Uh, of course. I remembered something that slipped my mind. Now, it's just a little thing, but I think anything might help in this case. Yeah, I think your thinking is right. Won't you sit down and... Thank you. Please tell me what it is. Well, on one of my house calls to Susan, mm -hmm. I noticed her blood pressure was up. Now, in a woman her age, that's not uh, a very natural situation, more temporary than anything else. Mm -hmm. So I asked her if something had been bothering her that day. And she said she was frightened earlier that day by an old man. Oh, an old man, huh? Yeah. Did she uh, say who it was? No, but uh, I assume it was a stranger. Uh -huh. Did she say where this happened? Well, it had, it had to be in her home because mm -hmm. uh, she was not able to leave at the time. I see. I mean, it was just one of those incidents that you don't think much of at the time, but as you recall, it gains a certain amount of significance. Oh? Well, I think about it, the guilty would I feel. For well, what for, Doctor? Well, it, you know, I, I might have been able to ask her more about it. I might have been able to help her more. Well, how? Did she act as if this old guy tried to hurt her in some way? No. No. Well, but then I don't think you should blame yourself at all. Now, when did this happen? Uh, in this book here. When it was, um... Right here. A date? Yeah. Well, that's two weeks before she was killed. Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't remember. But as I say, it's one of those things you don't think much of at the time. Well, uh, thank you very much, Doctor. I certainly appreciate you coming in here. Well, I certainly hope it helps. Oh, I think the commission is going to find out that it will help a great deal. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Do you hear me? Oh, temper, temper, temper. You haven't heard anything yet. You have no right to hold me here. I demand to see my lawyer. I sort of figured you might say that, so I took the liberty of calling him for you. 
Oh, you're going to be real sorry you did this, Scorpio. How dare you handcuff some poor defenseless woman, have your henchman drag me down a hall and throw me on a jail cell floor? It's police brutality. You hear that? Come on, knock it off here. No, not till you let me out of these handcuffs. I'm not doing anything to you until you button your lip, darling. You let me out of here, you have Shut no up. right to hold. Now, isn't that better? See how easily persuaded I am? Take off the cuffs. these marks. Probably have scars for life. Oh, that's the least of your worries. What are you talking about? I don't have any worries. Or at least you'd like to think so. I know so. And I'm getting a little sick and tired of this constant harassment you subject me to. I mean, after all, what have you got on me this time? Did I forget to return a, a library book or is it jaywalking? How does perjury sound? Well, that all depends. Is it a crime? You lied to a police officer. When? Your deposition about Monica Quartermain. Not one word of it true. Well, since when is lying a crime? I mean, everyone lies to the cops. It's a disease of the age. It's incurable. You can't throw someone in jail for lying. Then you admit to lying about seeing Monica flee the scene? I never said that. You're lying, Heather. I know you are. I'm not. You were in that house, all right. But you were there alone. Just you and Susan together. No. I did not kill Susan. I'm finding that harder and harder to believe. Well, what do you have to do about it? You haven't got the proof and you're not going to find it. Maybe. But I've got plenty of other things on you. Besides lying? What? Uh -uh. Name something. No, 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 no. You won't tell me your secrets and I won't tell you mine. You haven't got one thing on me. This whole perjury rap, it's all a ruse. That is breaking injuring sound. What are you talking about? You illegally entered the Quartermain house, specifically their basement. Now, Monica Quartermain said that in her press statement, didn't she? You're really reaching now, Scorpio. That picture of Susan riddled with bullet holes? How would you possibly know it was in the basement unless you illegally entered the house? That's absurd. Oh, I don't think so. The message was rather specific as I remember it. And I remember it very clearly. You still don't have any proof I was the one who called? Who said I received a phone call? Well, you just mentioned it. No, I didn't. Said I received a message. I want my lawyer. You were the one that made that call, Heather. You were the one that broke into the Quartermain house and you lied about Monica. I'm not saying another word till my lawyer gets here. I want to see my lawyer. I want to see Lee Baldwin right now. Do you hear me, guard? Look, they called your lawyer's office and his service said he was out to lunch. Did you say it was an emergency? Yeah, he's going to call when he gets back. Now, what are you getting so excited about? It's not like you're going anywhere. You or your girlfriend. What's that supposed to mean? What happened to her? Well, she's in the interrogation room with the commissioner. What's he want with her? I guess he just wants to talk to her. Yeah, well, he, he can't do that, you know. She's got to have her lawyer present. Did they call her lawyer? Wasn't the guy in a sweatsuit? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy, all right. Yeah, he came in here a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, what did he say? Hey, he didn't have to. He looked real grim. Hey, listen. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd tell me what's going on in there. I... Well, I tell you, I'm sorry, pal. But I can tell you one thing. What's that? Well, he didn't drag your girlfriend off in handcuffs to give her a good citizenship medal. 